Christians, you have been deceived for just about 2,000 years now. The serpent in the Garden of Eden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which is actually the law, is what led us into the flesh suits in what we now wear with the DNA process. You see, the serpent is actually a representation of the DNA strand, but it's also a representation of the Ouroboros, the snake that eats its own tail, which is the reincarnation rebirth process. This is what was going on in the Old Testament. Man kept on being born back into this world. Solomon makes it clear that it's better to die than to be born into this world. Jesus makes it clear that anyone that doesn't believe on his name is already dead. So what does that say right there? You pass on to eternal life when you believe on the Son of God. You pass the reincarnation cycle, the serpent cycle. You see, this is why Jesus said, you are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. Because he was relating this back to Cain, who murdered his brother Abel, because he was the first one that was created of this seed of the devil, or the seed of the serpent, which is the DNA. This is why there is enmity between the flesh and the spirit. The story is much deeper than what people realize. But just to sum things up in a two minute video, the serpent is the DNA strand. It is what leads you into the process of reincarnation. And if your DNA doesn't change, if you don't change by the blood of the lamb, you will come back here. God bless you guys. I love you. You have a great night.